friend wants to use me as her backup ATM. I am not off. Original post by you, don't ask me chit in R, entitled people. Reminder do not comment on linked posts. Mood spoilers. Anger. Tension. Unease. Resolution. Less than. Friend wants to use me as her backup ATM Tuesday. June 27, 2023. Next month I. F. I'm going away on vacation with a longtime friend. F. We are going to the Caribbean for five nights. It is not all inclusive so we will be responsible for paying for food, drinks and any activities. She asked me how much was I bringing in cash. I said $300 cash plus debit and credit cards. She told me she is going to bring $300 cash but no debit or credit cards. She said she is on a budget and $300 is her limit. I explained that comes around to only $60 per day. This is not one of the cheaper Caribbean islands so food and drink alone won't leave her with much. Leftover. I reminded her that she needs to factor in cabs, incidentals or any activities we may decide to do. And you never know if an emergency will come up where she will need money. She says to me, that is why I have you, and started to laugh. That pissed me off to no end. I tell her that we are both adults who are responsible for our own selves. It would be one thing if she lost her purse and needed money. I would float her money before she even had time to ask. But to purposely use me as her backup ATM is not going to work. I told her now that I know what she is up to. I'm not going to go along with it. If she runs out of money, she will just be asked out and hungry. She needs to bring her cards with her for her own good. She is now telling me I am too harsh and she will bring extra money but no cards. I told her to do what she wants but if there is an emergency she is on her own. Update. Friend wants to use me as her backup ATM, son. July 9, 2023. Many of you asked for an update after the trip. Original TLDR. My friend was going to take only $300 cash, no debit or credit cards, on a five-day vacation and told me she would use me for any extra cash she may need. Thanks to everyone for your feedback and suggestions. It truly did save the vacation. I'll hit the highlights. Some of you said that the hotel would want a credit card on file from the person who made the reservation. My friend was the one who booked the vacation. She put the whole thing on her credit card because she wanted the card, points. I told her because the reservation was booked through a third-party app. The hotel would need the original card used to make the reservation. So she was on the hook to bring her credit card. I have no idea if that is true or not. But it sounded good based on what you all commented. LOL. She was not happy that her own greed got her. LOL. But at least she brought a credit card. Others mentioned that she was going to sulk. And sulk she did. When we got to the airport I told her I was not going to spend the vacation in her misery so let's hash it out right now. She said that my tone was very rude. As if I was accusing her of trying to mooch off of me. She was. I told her to put herself in my shoes. She was deliberately not being responsible and told me to my face I was her backup plan and laughed about it. It made me feel used and put upon. She apologized and I apologized for being so harsh. Some of you said she would try to be content with cutting corners. Cabs were prohibitively expensive on the island and they didn't take credit cards. So, she looked up how to take the local buses. I was fine with that until we waited 45 minutes in the heat for a bus to take us to the mall. Island time. Yup. We only took cabs after that. A few mentioned that she would go through her cash in the first two days. You were close. 2.5 days. There were several markets with local jewelry and crafts that she absolutely loved and they only took cash. So she ran through her money rather quickly. She only brought her credit card, not her debit card. So, 
As someone suggested, I made her sell me right then and there the money I took out of the ATM for her. She paid for the exchange and ATM fees. She tried it with the meals. She ordered something big and wanted to split the bill evenly. Normally I would not nitpick about that but I just didn't want her to feel like she still got one over on me in any way. Since she used her credit card for meals to save the cash she had, I paid what I owed in cash and she paid the rest. Her higher portion with her credit card. Overall, we had a good time. We did a few excursions, had shopping and beach time, and relaxed. She even told me it was a good thing she brought her credit card. Things only got weird when I asked her to sell me right then and there at the ATM before I gave her the cash, but she knew why I was being so hard-nosed about it. Reminder I am not the original poster. Man. Oop is my hero. No darting around. Confronting the person directly and demanding the money before giving her cash. This is someone with boundaries and who is not a pushover or not confrontational. I loved it. She said that my tone was very rude. As if I was accusing her of trying to mooch off of me. She was. I know I'm taking advantage of you. But you could at least be polite enough to not mention it. Glad things worked out but I honestly would rather have gone by myself then travel with someone I have to be so careful around. And this is how you handle stuff. Communicate early on. Don't say, I hate confrontation so I didn't say anything, and then allow yourself to be walked over. And used. Speak up for yourself. It's that simple. I would be surprised if they're still friends after this. Good on Oop to lay the ground rules. I had a friend who I fronted the money for a vacation for because she has a medical issue and couldn't get the money together. I prefer to book early and save on flight and hotels. Okay, no problem. I paid her portion and we arranged she'd pay me as soon as she had the money. I was not impressed when she got Botox right before our holiday when owing me $2,000 for the trip. Also not impressed when she didn't buy health insurance despite having a fairly serious medical condition that was only just recently improved. Her response when I called her on not buying travel medical insurance? Well, I hoped you'd help me out if there was a problem. I was steaming mad. We ended up having a lot of tension on the trip and our friendship never fully recovered. I had a friend with a similar attitude. Not with money exactly, but trying to trick me into doing most of the work on trips. One memorable trip. She was late leaving as usual. She told me to go ahead and head to the campsite without her. I told her no, because I didn't want to set up the tent and kitchen stuff by myself. Oh I won't make you do it alone, she said. So I told her I'll just wait until she's ready to leave and arrange to arrive at the same time. But then we'll be setting up in the dark. She said, she totally expected me to set up camp by myself. I ended up staying in a hotel the first night. Without her, she arrived on site around midnight and slept without a tent. I'm old enough to have learned that there are some people I like to spend time with and people I like to travel with. If your travel styles don't mesh, everyone is having a worse time. When I was a teen, I went out and had coffee with a friend, then forgot to pay my share before leaving. I apologized profusely over text when I realized it, paid for their coffee the next time we met, and I'm still ashamed about my mistake well over a decade later. I don't get people like OOP's friend. How? Oop needs to start a course to teach people how to confront moochers like her friend. Because the reservation was booked through a third-party app, the hotel would need the original card used to make the reservation. I have no idea if that is true or not, but it sounded good based on what you all commented. LOL. 
The most common thing I've seen worldwide is that they have to have a credit card. After you show them identification during check-in, you can usually offer up any other credit card, but I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere did demand the specific card. Regardless, it was a great idea from OOP to say that to avoid becoming the ATM. And this is why I'm very very particular about who I'll go on a trip with. OOP sounds like a great friend to have. She's generous, firm with her boundaries, and good at communication. This sounds exhausting the way OOP had to spend so much time and effort basically playing fiscal defense. Great read and best outcome. That said, I don't understand the friend so blatantly wanting to take advantage of OOP. If that were me, I wouldn't call someone like that friend, and always wonder if they like me, or what I can provide for them or how they can benefit from me, use me. I looked at the date, thinking this must be one of the old ones from like 2011 or something. Who TF in 2023 plans on going on a trip without a card of any sort? I guess there's Apple Pay and such. But you never know where that might not be accepted. So it's such a no-brainer to bring your CC. That doesn't sound like a vacation. It sounds like days spent with someone you had to be hyper-vigilant around or she'd scam TF out of. You. I cannot deal with entitled mooches. Man. This friend still tried to pull one over Oop at dinner even after being confronted. I'd have trouble enjoying the trip if I was in the company of someone who had so little respect for me. Oop should reconsider this relationship after they are back home. Oop was wise allowing your friend to use you the way her friend had intended to do is very bad for your friendship, and it's bad for the moocher they get lazy. They stop caring about people as people. There's a reason covetousness is in the Big Ten. And it's mentioned in many other spots in the Bible where someone is talking about big sins or horrible behavior. It's very damaging to relationships. Good for Oop to confront this head on. I had a friend who refused to pay for half a hotel reservation because I paid too much for a private room rather than sleeping in some Airbnb bedroom. I said, well you booked the rental car then because I'm not getting ripped off on that too because you don't think I got the best price. Fine. Except we get there and my friend didn't know you need a credit card to rent a car. And didn't have one. And didn't find out until the reservation was refused. Couldn't put the reservation on my card because it wasn't under my name. My card had a low limit and booking at a desk is expensive. Tried online then and there. But since it was a holiday weekend and I had already used my card, I couldn't just transfer money to free it up. We had to take public transit everywhere and Uber back to our hotel. Made my friend pay for every single Uber and it was way more than the cost of just splitting the hotel room evenly. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.